Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Algebra 2, Chapter 7, Section 4 in this book. And we've been talking about fancy functions, fancy math, and it's fun. Fancy functions are fun. Hmm. Hopefully you won't get an F on this. Alright, so inverse functions. I'm going to explain it, but what you're really going to understand it once I show it to you and it's not hard. Okay, so to get the inverse of a function, you switch the x and y in your if-then chart is one way to do it. Look at the book and they will show you how they did that. They have an if-then chart, then they switch the if the, the column of x's and the column of y's, whoop, graphed it again and got the inverse. But that's not how you really do it. That's the baby step way. This is what you do instead. You will be given a function like this. It could say f of x or it could say y. If it says f of x, rewrite it with the y, step one. Step two, where there is the y, write x, and where there is the x, write y. Step three, solve for y. So, so you switch them and then you get your new y by itself. Well, why is y not alone? It's got a minus four, so we plus four to both sides. Those cancel out, so x plus 4 equals 2y. Y is y not alone. It's multiplied by 2, so we divide by 2. Who gets divided by 2? Everybody! It's a pirate party. You get divided divide by 2, and you get to divide by 2. So, x over 2 plus 2 equals y. Rewrite it. y, x is the bare numbers. You could also write it 1 half x plus 2. They're the same thing because both that 1 and that x are in numerator land, not denominator land. Ta da! Looking and book at the graphs to see how they work, but I'll show you down here too. Alright, so sometimes the inverse function is written negative 1. So here, you can, this is this one f of x equals 2x minus 4. And then this is the inverse. The inverse function of x equals, down here, they wrote it this way, 1 half x plus 2. Yep, they are inverses. They also show you in the book that you can do them both again, solving, you know, flipping them and solving it, and it shows that you can prove they're inverses too, but we already we already did the work. We don't have to do it. Okay, so here's another thing. Here's well, what about if it's fancy with the squared? How they could ask us to ask us this question to do this problem is they'll say f of x equals x squared, and then they'll say that, and that's saying what is the inverse? It looks very fancy, doesn't it? And we're just going to write it instead of having f of x, we're going to write y, and then we're going to switch them and put the x here and the y there. And then we're going to say, why is y not alone? Well, it's squared. So we have to do the opposite, which is square root both sides. So y equals the square root of x, except they want us to write plus or minus the square root of x. Now, it, then they graphed it. And the graph of y equals x squared is this. But once we have square rooting, it can't be negative. So they graphed the original equation, just the positives here, and then they graphed the inverse, just the positives, and it looked like that. They only used quadrant one, remember written in Roman numerals by tradition, which means just that quadrant right there. And um, then once you graph the original and its inverse, you can test to see if the inverse is a function. Remember, functions have certain rules, and one is that it passes the vertical pencil test. If it's an inverse, you can graph it and pass it, do the um, pencil this way, and it passes a horizontal line test. If you create an inverse, graph it, and it passes where it only touches a horizontal pencil at one place at a time, then it is a function. Now normally, if you just ask, if you graph this, oops, dyslexia there, if you graph that, and we're going to learn how to do that, that is instead of x being squared, y squared is this thing. This is not a function because it does not pass the vertical line test. We'll get into that more later. Study the book, look at the examples, try them, and also your calculator will do this for you and graph it for you. So make sure you come back for the calculator lab. All right, math is great.